Hey guys, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I'm not actually showing you what's new, um, but I'm going to be talking you through something new that I've done uh, to actually connect uh, my Hero 5 um, Black, which I purchased uh, maybe like five, six years ago, as a uh, webcam um, um, for my uh, work from home duties. So um, I was actually pretty annoyed at the... Um, so I've got a MacBook Pro here from 2018, and I didn't like the the camera quality on there and uh yeah so i wanted to upgrade that um and uh, i looked around there was it wasn't an easy way to get this all done there was a little bit of research and trial and error and i thought i could record a video to show everyone how i've managed to actually do this and what you actually need uh, at a minimum to get it started so uh, i've tried to also make sure that i've kept the cost to quite a minimum uh, amount um so if you have a uh, hero 5 black uh I'm not sure this will specifically work for all the other um, uh, GoPros, but it should be similar. Um, so we'll uh, uh, let's let's start going through it, and then I'll show you what what things I've picked up and what other specific settings that you have to uh, change on your GoPro to make it act, act as a web camera. Um, so the first thing you'll need, actually, I'm going to put my stand here so I can pick all these things up. And here we go okay so the first thing you're going to need is a uh, hdmi to a micro hdmi cable okay so um this is what actually plugs into your your gopro so the gopro as you can see has a uh, two cable two uh two ports there and uh, the bottom one is where the uh, the micro hdmi will plug into and will actually feed into your, uh, your laptop via the uh, converter, which I'm going to show you next. But basically, you need this um, for that conversion, uh, for that uh, signal to pass from the GoPro to your laptop. Uh, now, make sure you get the micro and not the mini HDMI converter because uh, there's uh, lots of different cables out there on Amazon and other websites, um, and you want to make sure you get the, uh, the micro um, one there. So... I made that mistake, so I'm just highlighting it to you guys. Make sure you pick up the right one. And I'll link all these uh, cables and things down in the uh, description below. The next thing you need is a, a video capture card or video capture USB converter, so which will connect your, your cable. So what you will be doing is you're connecting the HDMI end into this thing here <clears throat> and then connecting this end into your USB hub or your uh, USB uh, input on your uh, on your PC if you have that. I'm going to be using a Mac, so I'm going to be going through a hub. So this is the actual uh, thing that does the magic. It actually converts the signal from um, your GoPro into something that is a of uh, that the uh, Mac can recognize as a uh, webcam signal. So uh, something like this uh, usually used to cost about two three hundred or even more um and i think over uh, COVID they actually have increased in price as well but this one i actually picked up from amazon for about uh, 15 bucks uh, australian so um and this is the reason why i can now actually have this uh, running uh, pretty much full time uh, as a setup for me um so i'm glad that uh, the price of these things have has come down um because there were some other uh, big brands in the market uh, which were charging far far too much for it and this works perfectly well and i'll show you what it looks like um, once we have it all set up so basically yeah so the hdmi cable will go into here the other end of this will go into your um your gopro like this then you're going to need some way to actually charge your gopro and for that we're going to have another usb so there are yes a few more uh, connections to be made here so um, there will be a few more cables on your on your desk. So if that is that is annoying to you, maybe this is not the approach. But uh, I think the quality you get from the GoPro is far far much better than the uh, webcams uh, out there uh, on the laptop or even available um, on Amazon as well. So yeah, you're going to need a USB C cable, uh, which goes into this other port here, and the other end will go into a another USB uh, port on your. On your laptop or into your USB-C hub. <clears throat> um, so yeah, you will need two USB, sorry, USB-A hubs. Yeah, you'll need uh, two USB uh, ports on your uh, on your hub. And I'm actually using 
uh, another hub that I picked up from from Amazon and this is what it looks like so you can see here it's got uh, actually three USB ports and um, it, this one will actually link into the USB-C end goes into my into my MacBook I'll pop that back in okay so yeah once you have that um, then you're going to need a way to actually mount the GoPro onto a mount so I normally have the um, this mount here which is an extendable mount so it is a vertically extendable mount so it actually goes up pretty high as you can see and I have this actually usually sitting behind my screen so that uh, it makes it easy for me to um, you know you know so it's behind my screen and it can then actually I'm, I'm facing the screen and people can uh, see me facing the screen as well uh, so the thing with these uh, these tripods is that they come with a uh, screw-on mount um, you know connector and usually with the GoPro, <clears throat> um, they have their own way of um, mounting to a uh, to a tripod, which uh, you know doesn't work with the screw-on type here. So for that, I had to buy another device on Amazon. This was about five six bucks, uh, which actually unscrews this way, and then you you slot in the, the mount, and then you screw in the screw here so that it's tight and then you screw the whole case onto I'll just take out these cables so it makes it easy for me to screw so you can see what's happening so put that in screw it on so that it's tight and there we go so we now have the GoPro mounted on this tripod <clears throat> and we connect in our uh, power source, connect the power source to a USB port on our USB-C hub, then get the video capture card. Uh, the video capture card will need to also go into a USB port on the USB-C hub. And the other end of that will go into the micro HDMI port on your GoPro. And this will be the one that will actually transfer the video. So quite a few steps there. Uh, let me know if you have any confusion. But there is another thing that you need to do on the GoPro. So we need to go into the settings on the GoPro. <clears throat> Let's turn it on. I just turned it off. Actually, no, you have to do that before you plug all this in. So, my apologies. So, I have it all plugged out. Uh, and then go into the preferences. And in the preferences, scroll up. And then find the setting for uh, where are we? Video format HDMI output. Yeah, there we go. Um, normally it's set to uh, to media. So you see that normally it's set to media, but you have to make it so that it's uh, so that it's set to live. And live will will mean that uh, it will actually start broadcasting the. Uh, the picture via the HDMI cable, the micro HDMI cable to your PC or your or your Mac. So you go, yeah, a few steps uh, to do before you get to the point. And let me just turn on my monitor and I'll just show you what that looks like. I'll just log in. Okay, so let's plug in the power and now the 
So you can see the, uh, the screen comes up, which is good. We don't want the screen on at this point. And uh, yeah, let's bring up uh, Furabus on the Mac. And here we go. You can see that uh, you get the picture straight uh, on the on the screen, and you can obviously use this with your with Zoom or with uh, with Teams uh, or with WebEx, um, and it uh, it does actually look pretty amazing uh, because I've actually heard, uh, had uh, some of my colleagues mention that the camera looks much much uh, clearer and much much more HD like than my previous um, camera, so. Uh, it definitely is a massive improvement compared to um, the webcam on your on your Mac or on your uh, your PC laptop. So there you go. So that's a quick overview um, of how to get it connected. There are a few steps in the process. So if you do, um, if you are confused, uh, leave a comment down below. I'll have all the cables and connectors and things linked down in the um, in the description below, uh, so that yeah, you, it's easy for you to find. Uh, thank you for watching. Catch you later.